Welcome to another Smoke and Mirrors video. Today we're going to be talking about the new Jellish bottle. Before we talk about the new bottle, let's look at some of the old bottles. This is our previous packaging and here's a Jellish mini bottle. And I'm going to show you some application of all three of these. We'll start out with the regular bottle of Jellish. And I'd say the brush in these is pretty good. I never had issues with it. Let's take a look at what that looks like. This is Enchanted Patina from the Beauty and the Beast Trends collection, or collection, it's the trends for that collection. So you can see it's kind of a flat brush. It's wider than it is um, thick. And it's got kind of a square end. So it's kind of like a long rectangle. So let's take a look at how that applies. And to assist me, I have my lovely practice hand. I'm just going to apply the enchanted patina for you on this middle finger here. So you can see I'm able to pick up a decent amount. I usually put it all the way down in and then scrape off one side on the edge of the bottle. And let's see if we can apply this. The longer the nail, the more you're going to need, obviously. So one thing I've noticed with especially people who maybe don't have as much experience with gel polish, when they're applying the, the color, they will press, let me show you from the side, they will start to press down like this. And I've had people complain to me that they have like a dent right here in their application where it's like thin. And so what you need to do is um, sometimes well, this technique is called floating the bead. You need to have less of a heavy hand, more of a floating of the polish onto the nail or the product onto the nail than pushing it. And what you need to also do is kind of go more parallel. Now this issue is not a gelish issue. This is a nail polish issue. If you do that with any brush, you're going to have a dent right here in the cuticle where you press down really hard at first when you're applying the polish. But as you can see, I was able to pick up a decent amount. And the thing I love about gel polish is that you don't have to apply it in three strokes. And when we were in school, I don't know about all the other nail technicians out there, but we were taught if you were really good at polishing nails, you would put down your first line of color, you would do one to the so other side and one to the other side. And if you did a great job, that would be it. It would be three strokes and you're done polishing that nail. Well, in real life, that doesn't always happen. With Jellish, you can do three strokes or you can do 30 if you need to because it's gel polish. You can get just ensure that you have an excellent application and then when you're all ready to cure it and it looks just perfect, then you stick it under the lamp and you're good to go. So let's take a look at one thing that people were having an issue with in some of the earlier formulations of Jellish. Um, I'm going to show you an example of this with, uh, it's called She's My Beauty and I can't remember the name of the collection but this is probably from like five years ago. And the issue that people were having with some colors, you can see I've marked it, um, that the brush is bad on this one. And this is the second brush that I've put in here. It just gets all, it looks like a pom-pom at the end. I don't know what happened, but for some reason this color just tears up brushes. So I had this in my collection for a while. I hadn't used it in a long time and then I go to use it and I find out that it, the brush looks like this. Oh, I just dripped some. Um, 
course, I was not very happy about that. So I contacted, and I had another color from that collection. Um, it's an orange color from the same collection. And I, I contacted Jellish, and I said, these two polishes have caused my brush to go wonky, and can you send me some new brushes? And they did. And they sent me a ton of them. They sent me a whole bag full. I told them I needed two, and they sent me all these. So I've replaced it once, and it's done it again. So now I just apply that color with a plain brush that I have pulled out of another bottle. Here's what they sent me. So using this, we can get a great look at what a gelish brush used to look like. So you can see it's kind of thin, and then if you turn it, it's thicker. So it's got a flattened ferrule, and the bristles are very soft and very flexible. Now let's take a look at the Gelish Mini Brush. For those of you home users out there, this is the brush that you're going to see. This is a color called Ballerina. I've had it forever. I don't know if it's still for sale or not. But you can see it's pretty much the same brush as what's included in the older style um, gelish full-size bottles. It's kind of flat this way, and then if you turn it 90 degrees, there you can see it's wider. The bristles seem to be the same. They just seem to be a hair shorter. So you can see next to each other, they're like, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch longer. And the Jellish Mini, I've again had no trouble applying those. I recently picked up from the Selfie Collection, Pretty as a Pincture, and I'm going to apply this for you on the practice hand, on the pointer finger here. My practice hand has been with me since I was in school, like 10 years ago. So you can see, again, if you were to press down hard, you would get that kind of gap in the polish. But if you sort of float the bead from the cuticle to the free edge, you don't have that issue. Now, you do get some like streaking. The great thing about gel polish is that it self-levels, and that will go away in about, well, 10 seconds. Um, and then you just cure it. If you have any bits that are not as dark as others, you can just apply another coat, which typically you need to apply two coats of gelish, and it looks great. Finally, we're gonna talk about the new gelish bottle. Um, it is shaped, you'll notice, like the Morgan Taylor bottle, which is great for brand recognition. Bringing Jellish and Morgan Taylor into the same fold, I think, is a great move um, advertising-wise and, and business-wise. And they've also vastly improved over the previous bottle, in my opinion, with this new color callout. And the reason that this is super, super important, especially if you're working in a salon and you've got your nail polish rack on the wall, you have the potential to expose your nail polish, your gel polish to UV light, unintentionally getting it cured through this tiny window. So I appreciate the thought here on Jellish's part when they were originally making these bottles because you can actually see the color through this window. Instead of trying to guess what the color really looks like, looking at this color call out on here, which let's be honest, it's not totally accurate. At first they tried doing this and this bottle has stuck around for, I don't know how long Jellish has been around, like pushing 10 years probably. And like I said, it's a, it was a great idea to get the true color by being able to look through this window, but if you store your gel polish, even in a room where you have a window with curtains over it, you're still going to get ambient UV light and you're possibly going to cure your polish. And I did that for a long time and you can see 
how it's kind of lumpy through the window, that's because that little bit cured on the window of the bottle. So this is so much better in that it protects your investment. I mean, at $17 a bottle, you don't want your gelish curing in the bottle. The color call out, the way they have done the bottle with the plastic wrap over it is very similar to how um, OPI does their gel color, except they wrap the lid in a colored um, wrapper. So I actually kind of like this better. It's got brand continuity with this dot here, but it also does protect your polish. So let's take a look at the brush and compare it to the old gelish brush. Right away, you notice a difference. This brush is actually kind of curved at the bottom. It's still wide, but it's got this curve, if I can get it in focus here. Whereas, of course, the old one did not have that curve. So I think the idea is that this will fit the nail better. So let's try it out. This color is Mauve Your Feet from the new Fall Matadora collection. So I'm just doing what I usually do and kind of getting the brush full and then wiping off one edge. And we'll start at the cuticle and you can see it does curve to the cuticle um, curve. Kind of conforms to that. Conforms around the nail very nicely, hits those curves which on longer nails can be kind of um, hard to hard to do. And just if you do the same thing, keep your brush parallel to the nail instead of digging at it like this. Actually, the rounded brush kind of helped with that. Hmm. All right, there we go. There's one coat. And it was slightly easier.